Hello everybody, this is Gamma Gar. Welcome back to another live stream of Carl Island. So hopefully the mic works, hopefully you can all hear me tonight. <laughs> I'm sure it works. We tested this before we started this stream. We had a test stream and we tested all the gears to make sure it worked this time. Just to um just to just to save me some embarrassment. So I decided to play some Carl Island tonight because um I just can't get enough of this game, it's an amazing game. Now I will do more Stardew Valley streams, and I will release a new streaming schedule next week. I was actually going to do Carl Island tomorrow morning, but um, all the schools and everything are closed, so um, run, I'm on parental duty uh, for tomorrow, <laughs> Saturday and Sunday. So no streams tomorrow, so I said I'll do it tonight. But next week, there'll actually probably be a few more streams in the week, so it'll be a mixture of Stardew Valley streams, Carl Island streams, it'll also be a mixture of regular Stardew Valley videos and I might do I might do a card item video like a tips video or something but I'll, I'll have to see I don't want to use the 100 day uh, farm for it because I want to just keep that there until the next update comes out and maybe do 200 days on it or something so I'm trying to build up another farm at the moment trying to get it into the end game so I can I can kind of show people what I learned and stuff you know so we have a, a few people here tonight thanks for coming in we have Lionel the Lion. Hello, uh, I know I know it's not morning time. <laughs> it's the evening time. We also have Dara. Hi, Dara. How are you? I hope your classes went well. We have Happy Hens. Hello, Happy Hens. We have Ree. Hello, Ree. How's the weather over in Scotland, Ree? And I think that is it. Yep. That's everyone who said hi in the chat so far. <laughs> so let's let's jump into the game. Let's have some fun. Exercise class kicked my butt, but it was great. <laughs> Rainy and cold. That's ah, it. It's miserable over here as well. It's, mis it's miserable. So this is the next day, and we have Suri Surya here saying good morning to you, Gamer Gar. You have a great spot here. Waking up to this every day must feel amazing. Yeah. You know, I really hope to implement those uh, emotes soon because they're so cool. Anyway, she said you went diving. How was it? I love it. We love diving. That's so great to hear. So he's talking about kelps. Wide variety of kelps. Each has its own characteristics and benefits. The ones you probably encounter now is the bronze kelp. Look kind of brownish. Hello, Pentax. <laughs> I say hello to you every day. <laughs> But she did make me a lovely cup of tea with my new uh, with my new Marvel I am Groot mug. Ah, you can't beat a nice cup of tea streaming a lovely cozy game, can you? Bring five kelp essence to the lab and you can choose which produce to upgrade. So I quite when I was doing the um, 100 day video I kinda left that off until the end and I had the essence lying around. So I'll probably try to do that uh, a lot earlier this time, just just to get the better quality seeds and stuff earlier, you know. So I just have a couple of crops here now at the moment, but I also have three thousand gold ready to go. So I might go to Sam today and buy a couple of crops. Phantom. Why do I have turnips inside there? Take those out. So we got some men here. Oh, that's oh, that's the chieftain. He wants to meet us. Yeah, I'll buy some seeds off Sam now today. And we'll we'll go visit this uh, this chieftain fella. How do I go visit the chieftain again? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's down. Yeah, he, I think yeah, he's over there, chieftain. So I think I have to make my way down here. And the chieftain, the chieftain then will unlock the bundles for us. So we get another cutscene. There's actually a good few cutscenes at the start of the game, and after a while then it kind of just stops, you know? Who man? 
I think that's his name. Oh man. Oh, he chieftain, thank you, who man, to come here. Oh, he's calling me, who man. Okay. So he's a giant. And now I could be wrong, but as far as I know, these four pedestals here, um, they're like prisons or something. And every time we complete a full bundle, we unlock one of these these pedestals, and it frees a giant or something like that. I think something like that, anyway. Now, I, I saw a Reddit post and someone showed off the greenhouse in this game. Um, I have no idea how they unlocked the greenhouse because... Actually, no, you could unlock it, I suppose. If you rank up the village a bit more, you can get the watermelons and stuff for the, the winter bundle. So the more rank ups we get, the better. They don't have this in Stardew Valley, do they? <laughs> Someone made a hilarious comment on my first Carl Island video, outlining every time I said Stardew Valley. <laughs> I thought it was, uh, I thought it was hilarious. Awakened, you have the power of nature. He reminds me of that green guy from Star Wars. You know that uh, little cute uh, green fella? Uh, I'm not a Star Wars fan, I can't think of his name, but he's that small little tiny green fella. Is it Yoda? Is it Yoda? Yeah, Yoda. <laughs> Yogurt. <laughs> Goombay. Yoda yogurt. So I got the third eye special item. You've unlocked the third eye. You're now able to read and understand the language of old. Very nice indeed. Buy candied tree seeds. I'll always welcome those. Right, so we're getting seeds today. And if I see bugs like this, I'll catch up. That's some silk mush. You know, I reckon I have most of the, the, the critters now caught for spring, I'd say. I have a good bulk of them anyway. Um, I'm, I'm hoping these animals get added to the game soon, you know, the, um, whatever this is. And um, I think that's a peacock. And look at that duck. Look at the duck with the hat. That is so cool. That's what I want. I want ducks with hats on my farm. An alpaca, yeah. Yeah, an alpaca. Right, after Sam we go, we're gonna buy some seeds. We're gonna plant those. And I might visit the mines again soon enough to stock up on ores and stuff. Oh, really look at that. <laughs> the common starfish. Yeah, but the, but the cow but the cows in all fairness are super cute. Sam, Sam, Sam. Oh, that's a horn point there. More wild seeds for me. So we have a birthday today as well. Uh, it's this fellow with the hash. I don't know. I don't know any of the NPC names except Betty. He still doesn't have radish seeds, so we have to come back to him and get those. Uh, but in the meantime, 
we would get, let's see, eight days, seven, five, four. Let's get ten of those. Okay. Oh, I got eleven. That means I have to get eleven of those. And eleven of those. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to get because I don't want to spend the whole day watering crops. Isn't it uh, a chunky cow is a healthy cow? So I can sell those critters. Is it, can I get that? Oh, I can. I can harvest that. That's a daffodil. Though I didn't know you could use your sight to harvest crops in this game. So I might try it out now the next time I can actually harvest some crops. So next week we're going to see a combination of morning streams and evening streams. But I'll never do two streams on the same day. <laughs> yeah, I use the site mod as well in Stardew Valley all the time. It's it's so hard to go back to, to harvest and stuff regularly once you kind of get, you know, once you get used to using the site mod. And, uh, <laughs> I actually have a video coming out on uh, on Sunday. You know, I normally I normally release another video Sunday, and um, it, it's just a, it's a tips video, um, but it's uh, it's going to focus on unusual methods to make money in the game that a lot of people might not use because everyone knows about the star fruit, the strawberries, and all that kind of stuff. You know, uh, this video is going to show you um, other ways in where you can kind of make decent money, and I use the site mod in that video. I love the water in this game, it's just so fluid. Right, and I can sell the rest of the stuff here now, I can sell those. And... You know, I'll keep that for um, your man's birthday. Let's see if I can find him. Oh, is that him? Is it Kenny? I think that's him. Hello, Kenny. Please tell me it's your birthday. Yes. How did you know it's my birthday today? Thanks a lot. You're welcome, Kenny. Yeah, that's the thing. Once you start playing Stardew Valley with mods, it's very hard to just play, uh, you know, you know, the vanilla game <laughs> again. You know, I, I, I couldn't. I just couldn't. Even if I'm doing any sort of a 100 day challenge, you know, it's 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 littered in mods. Not cheesy mods, but you know, mods that, that make the game look nicer. Okay. So, let's go and check out these bundles. So, we're going to head over we're going to head over here to the lake area. And um, we're gonna we're gonna check out the place. And we might have enough material for the resource bundle. And I think we just need radishes then to finish off the spring bundle. Uh, but we need to unlock the radishes by getting a, a rank up in the, in this uh, island. I think. I think that's how it works anyway. 
Ooh, a brown trout. That's nice. I can actually I can actually put that right into the museum. <laughs> oh, and I think that's a new one, is it? Little wood satyr butterfly. Hey, Geobug, how are you? <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. Ooh, yay, we got that one. Just seems to be getting wild seeds all the time. I'm not doing too bad now myself. I, I had a I had a fairly a fairly productive day. Oh we got a cutscene here. And that means I can sip my tea. At last we meet, but I don't have much time. Oh you, you have you, you have all the time in the world. You're not going anywhere. Finish your midterm paper for class. Nice. It's always nice finishing something, isn't it? They will restore my power. Slowly I will heal the land. You know, I always get Zelda vibes from this scene. I can't wait for the new Zelda game. I really enjoyed the last one. The, uh, the Breath of the Wild. The only thing I didn't like about it was that the weapons kept breaking. But that, that that that's just that's just my that's just me though. I know a lot of people liked the mechanic, but I I, I didn't. <laughs> you can offer certain items to the temple to help Coral Island. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a quick look at the bundle. So, so these altars aren't active, um, but this one is, and this one has six bundles. So, one, two, three, five slots here. So I have the wood, I have the stone, I have the fiber, I have the sap. And I'm pretty sure I can very easily assemble any one of those uh, those seeds, and I can I can do that one very quickly, easy enough. So wood, stone, fiber, sap, and any sort of seed. And then for the spring bundle. Oh no, we don't. Oh, we don't need a radish. It's actually a turnip. So it's a turnip, a carrot, a daisy, wasabi, and more. You know what? I actually think I can do those bundles right now. Can I buy carrots at the start of the game? I can't remember. I'll check my, um... I know I planted carrots, but I'll, I'll double-check. Uh, so, more wasabi, daisy, carrot, and turnip. Fabulous. And you'll, you'll pick all those up in the ocean when, you, when I get deeper. You don't want to get deeper into the type of minigame. So, I'm actually going to prioritize that right now, because that will unlock fast travel for me, so I'll be able to get around the map way faster it, it will save an absolute ton of time i was going to fish here for the day but i'm just going to quickly run back to my farm grab those items if i wasn't streaming i i, I, I would have um <laughs> i probably would have put up the wiki and checked it before i went there but i you know i i don't want to be putting up the wiki during the stream oh what's that oh a tiger beetle a lot of flies around actually Oh, I'm pretty sure I don't have that firefly yet, so I would attempt to catch that. Ooh, there we go, there's the firefly. That's a new one. So there's also a huge boulder there, and as, as far as my knowledge goes, there's no way you can actually um, break that open. Uh, I did try it with a silver pickaxe, and nothing happened. I haven't gotten any of the gold tools yet because you can't farm gold ore in the in the mines at the moment. Now I know you can buy gold ore off the blacksmith, but to purchase enough to upgrade a tool, you need something like um, 
I think it's something like 25 or 30,000 gold or something like that. It's great, crazy much money anyway. If you, if you, if you just wanted to buy the resources. Day is going really fast. I wonder if I have enough time to go back there. I think I do, because I can always teleport back then once I activate the fast travel. Where am I at the moment? Okay. I could own. Actually, you know what? I should just quickly bop into the museum and just um donate some of these uh, some of these critters. So the firefly oh the brown trout and we have a new butterfly there as well. That's three more things. So that's 29 out of 50, and I can sell the rest. Bone is probably there to um, get areas they haven't finished. Yeah, that, that's probably it, I'd say. You know, but I, I reckon if you spent a bit of time, really, you could probably dig into the game files and you could delete the boulder and just walk into the area. <laughs> if you wanted to. Not that I would do it. Yeah, let's see what we have. I'll put those in there now for the moment. So, I need wood. I need fiber. I need sap. I need five seeds. So, I have those. And I also needed some stone. So, that's the essentials bundle done right there. And then for the crops, let's see. I needed a wasabi. I, I think I needed a turnip. Was it a, was it a daisy I needed? And what was the other thing? Wasabi, turnip, daisy. Do, do, do. Oh, carrot. Do I have a carrot? I don't. I do not have a carrot. Okay. That should be alright. Uh, the big question is now, do I have enough time to go there? I don't think I do, so I won't risk it. So instead, we'll just do a little bit of fishing. And we'll go there tomorrow and complete the essential bundle. You're not Blade. <laughs> you don't know how to do programming. The wonder it's breaking the game, yeah. I've never actually watched a Blade stream. Never watched the Haboo stream either. <laughs> um, despite the fact that I, that I do a lot of Stardew Valley videos, I do watch a lot of other people's Stardew Valley content, but I'm very selective in what I watch. So if I do watch content, um, sometimes it'll be a wickedy stream if she's streaming, and if I'm, you know, if I'm if I'm doing stuff myself, I'll, I'll switch her on because I enjoy her quite a lot. Um, uh, if Easy Lily brings out a video, you know, she, she normally does some pretty solid tips. Uh, I'll watch, I'll watch an Easy Lily video. If it's, if it's a Stardew Valley kind of tips video, I normally watch those. I always learn something new off those. You came here to watch some Stardew videos, but I'm streaming just to tell you, thank you for your outstanding content up to great work. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> thank you. Plenty more content to come. Ah, yes, Geobug, a fellow Stardew Valley content creator. So Geobug is actually starting out, he's done a few videos. Uh, and you know what, they're actually not bad. I watched, I watched a few of your videos. Just gotta keep, just gotta keep banging them out, you know, Consist consistency. <laughs> 
That's the key. That's the, that's the key. That's what I do anyway. Hi Violet, how are you? Welcome to the stream. So we've just started, this is our first day. And we're we're pulling up some fishies. So I'm gonna sell those. And I suppose, you know, I was gonna I was gonna cut a tree down, but I don't think I have the time. <laughs> Johnny Jew and Sharky's Pet of Lies. Oh, I can't wait. You know, I watched um, I watched Durham's uh, Pet of Lies and I, I watched uh, Wickedy's one and I actually caught the premiere for both of those. Now, I was a little bit late for the Wickedy premiere, but um, it, it's great jumping in to see how well they did. It was, it's so exciting, you know? That um, Durham did very well. Wickedy got some tough questions, you know? Honestly, I think anything to do with a recipe uh, is tough because there's so many recipes in the game nobody knows you know all of the mats for all of the 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 recipes because there's just so many so anything to do with a recipe it's it's, it's tough and uh and even i got it wrong i said the um i said the hash browns i i thought for sure the hash browns didn't give you a buff but they did so if i was there and if i was if i was asked that question i would have got that wrong too i would have got the rest of them right just like wickedy that one would have cut me out That one would have got me. It would have clipped my wings. So I believe the next one is um is it it's every Saturday, isn't it? Or is it Sunday that he releases them? Saturday or Sunday. You know, but I really hope that I, I've been uh, I've been I've been checking the videos out every few days and I really hope that the view count increases on them because he's, he's he's put so much work into that video they deserve more exposure they deserve a lot more exposure right that is all the crops done so let's see, I'll put that back in there, I'll keep those, and we'll go finish off that bundle. Saturday, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to it now. So, I, I, is it four people per season? So the first season is, what is it, Durham, Wickedy, Shawnee Jew, and who's the last participant? Do all of the plants have scarecrow coverage? I'm pretty sure they do. But I'll check when I get back. But I'm pretty sure they do. But I can very easily make another scarecrow if I need to. Ooh, what's that? Sap. <laughs> Oh, I ain't getting that. That's gone. Hodgepodge, Unruffled Cat, and Murakai, as well as Emolution Doodle, and Garfunkel. Woo! Garfunkel, go! Lionel, who's this Garfunkel? That name's very similar to, to my own name. Who is who is this Garfunkel? Ooh, there we go. Unlocked recycling machine. Okay. So for the spring one. Oh, it's, it's a marl I need it. I'll just put in what I have anyway. And a daisy. So I just need a marl and a carrot. 
And that is the spring sausage and bundle completed. So I think someone taught me sausage means offering, so I think it actually means spring offering. Someone called Gary named in episode one. <laughs> Garfunkel. Oh. Drink this to receive my blessing. Oh, maybe give me the fast travel now, please. Oh, yes. Let's give me the fast travel. I was wrong. I said in the video you needed to complete two bundles to get fast travel. You only need to complete one bundle to get fast travel. So I know I'm illusion very well, actually. Um, I go to horse streams a lot. And I'm familiar with Doodle. I've, I've been to a few horse streams, too. And they actually did a, a collab stream on Minecraft. I think it was released today. So I'll probably give that a watch later. Or no, I'll be going to bed after this. I'll probably give it a watch tomorrow. Um, and who are the others? There's so many small Stardew Valley content creators. Yeah, I know all the big ones. Durham, Durham, Shawnee, Leapalot, Matthew McClensky, Ring Queen, Salmon, Sharky, Charlie Valley, Wally Gogan, Wicked. Yeah, yeah, the, all the, the big ones. Recycling machine. Nice one. So now we can fast travel. And these are the current fast travel points. I can go to the diving pair. I can go back to the farm. It is so handy. So let's go back to the farm really quickly. Ooh, Ree, you could be right. I might need another... Um, I might need another uh, a scarecrow. Put the recycling machine there anyway. Turns two trash into scrap. Oh yes, yes, yes. Let's uh let's do that now actually. Get the ball rolling with that. And we will also make a scarecrow. Oh no, look at this. Ooh. Do I sacrifice a crop? Yeah, other otherwise my ADHD is gonna kill me. <laughs> I I have to get rid of that crop, sorry. <laughs> it has to be done. It has to be done. Where's my pickaxe? Where's me? Right, I'll put it there. There we go. Oh, it's so much better. Would it be okay if I asked some ideas of what they'd like to see in Stardew slash cozy game content? You don't want to mimic everyone, but you want to make sure people get what they want. I mean, I, I mean it's okay to mimic. I mean, look at all the 100 of videos I did. You know, I didn't I didn't create that idea myself. I literally watched a few 100 of videos and I thought to myself, ooh, these videos do really well. So I literally went on a rampage of 100 of videos, except I added little twists to mine. You know, like it's not, it's not your typical 100 day. There's always some sort of a... A challenge added to it. And I think personality is a big thing. So a lot of people say to me they you know they they watch me because of my personality, which uh, which is nice which is nice of them to say. <laughs> um but I think the most important thing is that you do is that you enjoy it. You enjoy what you do, otherwise you're just gonna get burnt out, you see. Um, and you don't, you know, you don't want to get burnt out. You know, I enjoy making 100 videos. I, I get a great, I get a great kick out of it. It's a lot of work, but it's it's fun, especially when you get to day 100. You know, you can sit back and go, look, you know, look, <laughs> look what I did. Some people don't even do videos. Some people just stream. They, they just they, they just stream the game. 
you know, it all, it all depends really. But Stardew Valley is a magnificent game and because the game is so, it's so open, uh, it, it's very easy to, it's very easy to kind of challenge yourself and, and do very unique videos with it. There's also thousands and thousands of mods that you can get for the game. And I, I'm trialing mods at the moment. Uh, I can't I can't get them to work, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get a mod that allows you to that allows you to sell and and make chocolate items in the game. I'm trying to um, get a mod to work where I can set up a shop on my farm and sell items to people, and I'm also trying to incorporate uh, other mods that make the game look a little bit like haunted chocolate here. And for for some reason, the some of the mods just they just don't work <laughs> uh, so it, it's I, I, I will get them to work eventually but it's probably going to take another couple of weeks before I um, before I figure those out but once I do figure those out it's probably going to be uh, a very unique 100 day video <laughs> you know I, I might call it maybe uh, 100 days as a chocolatier or something like that but, but I will only do it if I can if I can find chocolate recipes that I can make in spring. If I can't, then I won't do it. But there's a few mods that add literally tons of recipes to the game, and some of the recipes are chocolate based, so I just have to do a little bit more research on it, and I'll, I'll be able to make a, a really good video. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I, I have a whiteboard in my in this room with about 50 video ideas on it. And what I do is uh, I mark a few of them every Sunday evening. And what I'm going to do, you know, that week. And I literally just sit down and do them, regardless of if another game comes out or if, you know, regardless of, of whatever. I just sit down and do the videos. And what's great is that most of the idea, a lot of the ideas actually um, come from people that, that comment on some of my videos. So someone might say, oh, you, you, know, you should do a video on this. I'm like, ooh, I like that idea. So I write it down. Is there any sort of new fish I can get here? Have I got all the fish here? So I got the flower horn here, I got the tilapia. Um wonder if I missed something else. Hmm. You know, I can't wait for the Stardew Valley 1.6. Uh, I really hope it adds uh, you know a lot of new content to the game. Because I feel like if that happens, it will, it will kind of revive the game. Uh, meaning, you know, maybe potentially millions of people might start looking at videos again instead of hundreds of thousands of people. Because when the one point five came out, it 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 literally just rev totally revived the game, you know, because the Ginger Island was huge. Another flower horn. Okay, you know, I think that's all I'm going to get here. Maybe if I try the diving pier area, I might get something. I might get something there. You know, I, I must look up some. I, I I bet you there's a there's a guide on Reddit. There's a guide somewhere that tells you all the you know all the fish in the game. I haven't looked at the guides yet because I don't like kind of spoiling myself too early. So I kind of um, if I can leave the guides alone for a while. And just just kind of figure stuff out myself <laughs> so we might get something unique here maybe because this is a very kind of uh, you know unique fishing spot everyone is dying for the 1.5 to reach the smart devices um, and apparently it will apparently it will hit before the year is out 
and the year is almost over <laughs> so you know surely it'll be coming in soon so a mackerel we already have that one hat mouse on with other randomness is my favorite thing about stardew yeah Click. <laughs> Shawnee Jew taught up hat most percentage. He's been truly inspired. Yeah, Shawnee Jew is fun. <laughs> yeah, the trash bear. But it's great when you complete all of his uh, requests because he cleans up all the rubbish and he even he even upgrades uh, the dog's house. You know, you know, is it Shane? Is, no, it's not Shane's dog. Is it Al Alex's dog? I think. A blue tie. I have that one. Oh, that's the dog's name. Dusty. Yeah, I, I didn't know the dog's name. <laughs> Dusty the dog. Yeah, the when that 1.5 hits the smart devices, it's... Loads of people are going to start playing the game again. I mean, it's so... it's huge. You know, you've got the hardened version of the regular mines. You have the hardened version of Skull Cavern. You've got Ginger Island, and you know you've got all the golden, golden walnuts that you have to find. Um, you've a lot of other stuff back on regular Stardew Valley. I mean, it's, it's honestly, it's just huge. But you know, I think when Haunted Chocolate Terror comes out, that's just going to break the internet. I think half the planet are going to download that game and play it when that game comes out. Maybe next year. Fast travel is so handy. Right hand, I push. I keep one just in case. And I sell all those, get some money. Twenty-three, ten, fifty-nine energy. I'm pretty sure I've got time to cut down one tree before I call it a day. Just one tree. Hey, Bunker's busy. How are you? Welcome to the stream. How long have I been streaming? Not long. Not too long. What time is it? Twenty forty-six. Uh, less, less than an hour. Less than one hour, so... We've got long ways to go tonight. So I'm gonna put the wood in there. And I got some seeds, I got some sap. I'll take that out for tomorrow. 
Props. Ooh, re your lifesaver. Oh no, what are you doing? No. <laughs> Quick. Eat the trees. Oh, I thought I, I thought I destroyed a crop there by accident. <laughs> You know, let me just check the telly real fast, please. I, I want, I want it to be a rainy day tomorrow. No, nope, it's going to be windy. High pollen count. So here's the thing, right? I got fishing level two. It says here new craftable sashimi, but I, I don't know how to make it, and I don't know how to make bait. There's, there's no option there for bait. And when I upgrade the house and I get the cooking and when I go to recipes, the sashimi doesn't pop up, so I don't think they've implemented those into the game. Oh, sweet. And that is the carrot. So I can now finish the... Uh, I can now finish the, uh, the spring bundle. It is now the 11th, okay. I feel like I've done enough fishing. So we might do some diving today. Because if I can get far with the diving, I can get my hands on silver kelp, and that means I can start making um, sprinklers for the farm. And if I can make sprinklers, it means I can have a huge farm filled up with crops. I, You know, I mean a huge farm. So what do we have here? I just want to do the just Meet me at the Oh, so that's just Sam. He's going to give me a quest. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. Oh, wait. I have mastery points, don't I? I do. I've got one here for diving. So double harvest kelp, 20% chance, and double artifacts. I'm going to get the double harvest kelp. And I'll also get... Oh, I don't have any more points there. For fishing, lowers fish resistance. Sure, we'll get that. Okay. I think that's all the water in today. Right, I need to find a moral. I might get one down here somewhere. One behind us. Oh, is there a sneak one behind the scarecrow? No, I think I'm good. I think I have them all. Yeah. So let's keep our eyes peeled for immoral, and then we can uh, we can go complete the bundle then. <laughs> and I bet you. I bet you any money that this game is going to give me everything now today, except the moral. <laughs> Not my luck anyway. Oh, there's a moral. I was wrong. Which is a good thing. Hi Larissa, how are you? Welcome to the stream. So we got more wild Caesar now, I can plant those. And we have a butter a, a moth or a butterfly. So we definitely have given that one into the museum, so I can sell that one. So 
So let's go and complete another bundle. Oh, sorry, there's the warp point. So we're going to teleport back to the lake temple. The fast travel is so handy in this game. You know, it saves so much time. So this is the spring bundle. So there's the carrot. And there's the moral. And there we go. That's another bundle done. So what do we get this time? So I already got the sugar cane. I think it was a bit of a bug there because I was meant to get sugar canes, but I already got those when I completed the first bundle. So, <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. So that's kind of it now until summer. And that's what we have to do in summer. Blueberries, hot peppers, sunflowers, shallot, and hibiscus. And we can complete this once we get closer with the, with the diving. I'm sorry, once we get deeper with the diving. Listen to the stream while doing homework. Ooh. College homework or re regular uh, kind of uh, high school homework. I think I could have fast traveled to Sam's shop, but Asher, look, I'm halfway there now. <laughs> so Sam's going to give us a quest uh, to ship off quality crops. Uh, a huge number of quality crops. So what? Oh no. I'm after missing the event. How would I do that now? Oh no, I'm after missing the Cherry Blossom event. Oh, I, I really wanted to show the sack race on the stream, but I can't go back now. I thought I got him. I thought I got something in the mail reminding me that there was an event. Oh well. Did you do? I mean, sure. Look, it's only a sack race. Oh, my tea's gone. I drank all my tea. <laughs> yeah, McGarry, you've become quite the regular. Not really, I've only been to you twice, Sam. <laughs> yeah, getting used to it. Good, good. I see you're also getting much use of the shipping bin. You study languages. I studied a language last year. Java. Never again. <laughs> This is our import section. Everything on the side is imported. Oh yeah. So he wants me to give him lovely fresh crops so he can sell to the populace of the island. Criminal justice. Ooh. That sounds difficult. Forensic. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Linguistics. <laughs> that also sounds difficult. So it's my job to fill up this, um, this uh, you know, this stand here with um, with fresh local produce. And I think if I do this, that will uh, get me a rank up at the town, which means Sam will have uh, a bigger variety of crops that he can sell me. So, 50 bronze quality vegetables and 25 quality fruits is what we're uh, up against there now. Duolingo apps, Swedish, cool. Okay, so that warp point will become uh, active when I complete Sam's quest, I think. Oh, is it Dara? Most, to be honest, most of the streams are like this. 
You know, it's it's nice. Pe people can just pop in. And they can just talk about their day. They can talk about their week. They can talk about their experiences. And we all kind of just... Uh, we all just kind of tune in then and... Just go with the flow, you know? Nice and easy. <laughs> and that's that's the way I always want to have these streams. Just, just nice... Nice, relaxed, cozy streams. Right. I need to go back to the farm. And I need to get some gear. I need to go diving. And we I need to start pushing some of the main quests. Instead of uh, run running around the island like a headless chicken. Just looking for bugs. I think I've gotten most of the bugs that Spring has to offer. And I think I've gotten most of the fish as well that Spring has to offer. As far as I am concerned. So, I can sell those. Ooh, I got more wild seeds. You know what? I'll just plant it. So, I'm going to bring the scythe with me. Oh no, I'll need that. I'm happy enough with that. And we are going to go to the diving pair and we are going to do some, some diving. Which I love in this game. Oh yeah, so seaweed. I'm pretty sure if I can accumulate 10 seaweed, I can make a scuba snack. And that's a pretty good item for uh, for health and for stamina. Oh, okay, I've done that one. So I gotta, I gotta go over here and activate. I think I need to activate something over here. Yes, I need to activate this, this one here. Hopefully I'll get one soon now. If I can just get one today, I'll be happy. Oh, there's some kelp, I'll take that. Hornet crab will sell you. Ooh, what's that? Jackknife clam. <laughs> it's hilarious when the chests pop up because they're huge, you know. <laughs> they're so big. Oh, there's one. Crabless. snack instead of scuba snack. I said scuba snack. <laughs> so this will now activate and it should remove this gate so I can go down here and explore, explore more of the underwater area. Thank you. 
Ooh, a tiger tail seahorse. I think that's new. I'll keep that one. Oh yes, that was quick. need to try to make more candied um, visits. These things get way longer when you progress deeper. They, they, they get they get super long, and they don't really go in a straight line. They start zigzagging, so you basically have to clear almost all the trash in the area, you know, to to activate them all. Was it just the one terminal? Oh no, there's another terminal there. Okay. But it's 2020, my energy is low, so we might move the anchor. I'll move the anchor here. Serve as a checkpoint. Oh, I can eat that. I might just leave it and I might bring more uh, more food with me tomorrow book nerd girl hello welcome to the stream how are you how has your week been Well, you didn't miss much now, Dara. We, we did a bit of diving, activated a few of those, um, you know, those machines to clean up the oil. And now we're going to head back to the farm. Because um, I just ran out, totally ran out of energy. <laughs> Ornate coffers. How many coffers do I have now, actually? Oh, no, I don't put the coffers there. I put them here. That's not bad. We've got five Arnett coffers, two regular coffers. Wood, scrap, and bronze kelp. Just put it there. It requires a glass. Do I have any glass? Oh, I do. So I'll start making essences now rather than later. sell some of this stuff. Yeah, and I might just leave it there. Oh, you've been watching Sharky's vids as well. Um, so 
obviously you, you're probably watching his, his, his Path of Lies series, which is really good. 786 gold, nice. I wonder how Shawnee Jew got on. I wonder did he win any money. So I got a cutscene there. Um, not too sure what that does, but uh, it's a cutscene. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, nice! Scarlet Town has gained an E rank. What is this now? Due to the rank increase, distributors who left us are slowly returning. Now you can get fruit seeds from Sam, ducks and goats from Jack, and whole new categories of clothing and furniture. So he just said they're ducks and goats. I must check this out. If we can get ducks and goats, um, <laughs> that'd just be amazing. Absolutely get those. Oh, but sure, he's probably closed now, is he? So he, op okay, he opens at 8, so we'll visit him at 8 o'clock. And I just want to check to see if he actually has those things. Uh, because if he does, then I'm definitely going to prioritise um, a coop and a barn and we'll get ducks and goats. So what I'm waiting for him to open, let's cut down uh, a sneaky tree. My honest, brutal opinion, no, nothing compares to Stardew Valley at the moment. This game has huge potential, but to compare this game to Stardew Valley, I feel like you're, you're comparing apples with oranges, you know? It's um, it's similar, but at the same time, it's a, it's, it's, it's a different game. Um, But I mean, Stardew Valley has been around for years now. Stardew Valley has a huge modding, modding community. This game came out last week. Uh, but I am really excited for this game, and I know that when the developers add more updates to this game, it will it will become absolutely amazing. Um, but I, but at the moment, no, it's, I I don't think any game holds a candle to Stardew Valley. You know, it's Stardew Valley's is a special game, it was just well made and it, it, it's aged so nicely. I mean the game is so old and yet so many people do Stardew Valley videos still. And that's rare for a game, it's very hard to develop a game that, that can do that. So let's go to animals. No, he doesn't have them. You know, even though the male, even though in the male it says he does have them, he doesn't. He just still has the chickens and he has the cows and he has the horse. So, yeah, he doesn't have the, um... Now, maybe... Maybe I have to get a coop and upgrade it for them to appear here. Because I think that's how it works with Marnie, doesn't it? Or, or no, maybe Marnie... Maybe you just can't select them from Marnie unless you upgrade something. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Yeah, we have the letter in his face. I have a... Look, Jack, I have a letter here from the mayor. And, uh, what's... What's really cruel is that the game literally just, like... The models are ready. They have them walking around the place. You know? Now, it's, it's raining at the moment, so they're, so they're not out, but... Actually, can I go in here? No. But, like, you, you can see them walking around the place. You know, the models are there. So, if they haven't incorporated them into the game yet, I'm sure they will incorporate the animals into the game very soon. Hopefully. You know, I, I really hope we're, I'm not waiting, like, <laughs> six months or a year for the next update. I doubt it, though. Ooh, I got a lettuce. I'll send that. Send the lettuce. So, what are we going to do today? We're going to do some more diving today. Oh, 
Isn't the fast travel just so handy? It is very polished. You know, um, what game did I play in Early Access years ago? Ark Survival Evolved, it came out, Early Access. I mean, I literally got it on the second or third day it came out. And, um, oh god, it was so buggy. <laughs> I suppose it was an entirely different game to this, though. Pacific Oyster. It is. It's, it's nice when new games like this come out, especially games like this, because this game is really good. And you can tell they put a lot of work into this one. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> Nice one, there we go. So that's going to go in here. Oh my god, how lucky was that? <laughs> Just zigzagged around the trash. What did you heal now? Maybe if I keep going this way. Oh, I, I can go down there. Okay. I'm gonna get this kelp first, though. Is there anything over here? Okay, so I've cleared out that area. I suppose we'll go downwards and onwards. Yeah, you know, I think when this game has been fully released, it will be potentially a 40 euro or, or maybe a 60 euro game. But definitely at least, at least 40 euro. You know, you know what came out actually? Um, a Plague's Tale, a new Plague's Tale game, and I was looking at it on Steam last night, and I, I just feel like it's, it's way too expensive for a game like that, because those games, those story-driven games, normally are very short games, so I'll probably wait for it to, you know, for it to go on sale, and then I'll buy it. Uh, but I don't think I'll be putting it on my channel because apparently it's meant to be a very violent game. <laughs> Ooh, that is a super fast uh, starfish yoke. I might have to sneak up on that one to get it. How large is this game? Ooh, that's a good question. I am not too sure. I, it's not super huge. Is it less than a gig? I think it's less than a gig. I could be wrong though. Ooh, that's a new cover, a mysterious cover. A 
Dark Dark Guard channel. <laughs> yeah. We'll put Elden Ring on it, we'll put Resident Evil on it, we'll put uh Poppy Playtime on it. <laughs> you know. I was I was thinking I was actually thinking about playing Poppy Playtime chapter one and chapter two for for Halloween, but then I said no. It would be a bad idea to play it on this channel. <laughs> The first chapter, it scared the life out of me. I haven't played the second chapter yet. Now, I, I, I do have actually a Resident Evil video on this channel. But they're, they're really old videos. It's before I really got into Stardew Valley. Um, so if you if you click into the channel and if you click into videos and you go right down to the bottom, you'll actually see a, a handful of games, including um, including Poppy Playtime Chapter One. <laughs> I just I just left them all there, but they literally only have twenty or thirty views on them. You know they're. they're this was when the channel was really new and I was experimenting with games. But of course, you know, when I released the first Stardew Valley video and that got a, hundred, a couple of hundred views, it, you know, the channel very quickly turned into a Stardew Valley channel. <laughs> because it's done so well. Eat a couple of snacks here now. Does the little robot dude have a name? I think it does have a name. Um, but I'm not too sure what and what its name is. But you can actually go to the lab in the town and he's um and you find him in like a container. I think they're doing maintenance on him or something. Beep bop. <laughs> Guard the Goat, Hassan, hello, welcome to the stream. Where did Guard the Goat come from? Did it come from the story I told a few streams ago about the about the goat I had that was a bit crazy? One day I'd like to be more of a variety, uh, a variety content creator. But um, when I say variety, I suppose it would be kind of games like this. But we'll see, you know. We, we'll, you know, just experiment and trial things and see how things get on, you know. See what people like. And that's the great thing about uh, releasing community posts. Because when this game came out, I released a community post asking if people knew about the game and if they were playing it. <laughs> and uh, you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> when Haunted Chocolatier comes out, I release a community post just for the laugh. And I'd say, um, who's playing Haunted Chocolate here? And I bet you, I, I, I bet you, um, 95%, if not more, will say yes. Everyone's going to play that game when it comes out. Everyone. It's just that whenever I would come to your stream, I would announce you like that. Alright, I would never float your boat. Guard the Goat. That's, uh, that sounds like a, a fairly decent channel name, actually. I wonder, is there a Guard the Goat YouTuber out there? Ooh, nice. I found another little uh, device here.
So what's better, Gar the Gorge or Gar Funkel? So that turtle wants um, a bronze star something, but that's a spring crop. Now, if we don't give that to him in spring, that will change. And he'll ask for something different from summer. So we don't have to panic too much about that. Oh yeah, that's right, at 11 o'clock it takes you out. Garfunkel the goat. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Garfunkel the goat. Welcome to another stream. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've given that one into the museum. And I've definitely given that into the museum. I can definitely make more. Nice one. Four kelp essences. Right there. I might break all those open at the blacksmith in the next few days because they're starting to accumulate now, and I have a couple. I have uh, some money there as well, so I might do that soon. Oh, I'll put those in there as well. They're all uh, diving stuff. Put the rock in there. Twenty-three forty. What's my energy like? I'll eat this Mediterranean scallop. I'm gonna cut down this. I'm gonna cut down a sneaky tree before I go to sleep. Shane, back to the house. Where are you from? I can't place the accent. I'm from Ireland. I'm an I I'm an Irish YouTuber. Oh, please don't pass out before I get to the bed. Ah, oh, there, that was a close one. <laughs> that was very close, actually. Ooh, nice, here we go. So level 2 farming, the sprinkler. Now, I need silver kelp before I can make those, so I have to do a little bit more diving before I get access to the silver kelp. So I need to, um... I need to get that item the turtle wanted to progress, I think. So we check out Sam's store to see if he has it. Level 2 diving recycling machine. Nice, but more importantly, we get more, um, we get more stamina. To make fertilizers. That's flash. Increase growth rate a little bit. Okay. Where's the fertilizer? There it is. Compost and sap. All right. I can make a compost machine. Compost bin. Wood, trash, and sap. Right, there's the compass bin. And, ooh, bee house. Oh, I need bronze ore for the bee house. Kill bronze ore. That. Need to get some bronze ore. Turns to trash. See, that's why trash is so important. That turns trash into compost. So, where's my trash can? There it is. 
So we're gonna we're gonna convert our trash. Hassan, ooh, you're from Pakistan. Ooh, that's a long way away. Dad works in Ireland. It's hard to see him too tight. Too ooh, two times a year. Oh, that's sad. Texas, USA, bunkers busy. Illinois, USA. Got a lot of uh, got a lot of USA people. Oh, Croatia. I went. Uh, we went to Croatia a few times on holidays. Actually, it's a lovely, lovely country. Um. Where did we go? What part of Croatia did we go to when we went there? All we need is someone from Northern Ireland and all four UK countries to represent it. USA, great grandfather. Sixth. Ooh. Yeah, there's a bit of Irish in everyone, isn't there? <laughs> There's a, bit, there's, a, there's a bit of Irish in everyone. That's a fact. Okay, you know what? Let's just go to the mines today. Because we need to get some runs. Or, oh no, we have to go to Sam first, actually. Yeah, I need to go to Sam first. And I'm going to take you with me. When my wife there, Pentax, the moderator, um, her parents used to own a a little um, apartment in Croatia, and we used to go there. What it is? I just can't think of what the place was called. Just go there in the summer. Lovely weather over there. So there's the seahorse. Istria. Am I saying that right? Istria. Oh, Sam opens at nine. Come on, Sam. We'll hang around here for a bit. Okay, Sam, do you have the item that we need? You do, you have a cucumber. But see, the thing is, we need a bronze star cucumber. Oh, he also has poppies now, that's interesting. What else have you got here now? Poppies, cucumbers, soybeans. God, it's great. You know, there's so much variety, isn't there, you know? So a plant in spring grows in seven days and produces every four days. Days. Okay, cool. How about this one? Who grows in nine days, produces every three days. Nine days. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, if I get 30 of them, I will surely get at one bronze. Um one bronze cucumber that I can give to that turtle to progress to progress the diving. Also, it'll increase our farming level as well, so we can make better stuff. You know, we can get the, the keg, we can get the mason jar, so we can start processing the crops to get more money. And of course, we can learn the ordinary scarecrow, which is far superior to, uh, to these guys.
go. All right, happy days. And compost. So the fertilizer will, will increase the odds of me getting the bronze one. Hi Nicole, how are you? Welcome to the stream, as always. How has your week been going, Nicole? I suppose we go to the mines today for a change. as well. Alright. We're off to the mines. Hula, the biggest city in Istria. Amazing. Yeah, we went there. Wait, was there, um, I think there was a coliseum there, wasn't there? That we went to. It was like a really big coliseum. Oh, we got it. Real Mantis. We have some barges over here. We'll get these. Because this is all extra energy for us. Is that hat mouse open yet? No. What's that? Ooh, a silver star one. So we haven't made much progress in the mines yet, but we'll, um, we'll see if we can make a bit more progress now today. If we can get down 5 levels, we'll be doing well. If we can get down 10 levels, it'll be amazing, but I, 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 I sincerely doubt it. one. Energy's a bit low. I'll just give it a good top up there now. The slimes did. 
So when I was um, when I played previously, the the mines here just had two enemies, the slimes and the spiders, and that was it. No new enemies ever came along. stuck there for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we know a good bit about creation now. We've, we've been there a good few times. Um, it's a lovely country. And it has, of course, lovely people. Oh, I'm getting really lucky here now. I'm getting uh, That's another hole that I'm going to jump into. here. It's just not giving me a hole. <laughs> oh, there we go. Great. So we made it down to floor 10. So what are we going to get? 20 slime gaps. And that's actually good. Because I'm pretty sure I can make something out of those. I might need another level in combat, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Hassan, thanks for coming to the stream. And have a good sleep. I like the combat in this game. It's very fluid. And I can't wait for them to add more enemy types, you know? I think it'll change up the mines quite a bit. <laughs> you know, thankfully combat doesn't drain your energy in this game. Otherwise, I don't, I don't think we'd get far at all.
So I'm on floor 11. I mean, realistically speaking, I, I doubt I'm going to get down to floor 15, but you know, before the day ends. So I'm just going to leave. Otherwise, I'll end up passing out inside here and um, I could get build money. I don't want that to happen. Yeah, I like the mines. I mean, I think it's a good system, but I, I think they could uh, be a little bit more generous with the holes. You know, kind of like Stardew Valley with the, um, you know, with the ladders. So when we get to the bottom of the mines, this will activate, and it's it's a, it's a real handy fast travel point to have, because you can very quickly fast travel here, and if you need to farm ores, you can just go to like level 5, 15, 25, you know, the big levels, and just pull up all the ores. Oh, it happened again. <laughs> Exhausted my character. What's that? Oh, cricket. Ooh, we got 12 compost there. Might make some quick fertilizer before I uh, go to sleep. Sea, mountains, waterfalls, lakes, clean tap water. Sounds nice. <laughs> Eight gigs. This game, is this game that large? Eight gigs. I suppose the graphics are, you know, much greater than that of Stardew Valley. Catch a level four though. same letter it's getting an e-rank he's I'm, I'm just being teased now look here we go ducks and goats from jack he doesn't have them the, the mayor's just messing with us now oh wow i'm after getting 15 fertilizers very nice oh no i can't use them funny i got them yesterday What's going on here? Nothing. Oh, 
Oh, so I can harvest all these. So I'm actually going to um, use this to harvest them this time to see if there's any sort of difference. Oh, that's... Uh, that's nice. <laughs> that's very satisfying. Lovely potatoes. Potatoes. I'm going to sell those. Get my watering pad. Hello, Kelkel. Welcome to the stream. How has your week been? This is the first stream you're catching. Cool. Need more water there for the old watering can. Free YouTube music. It's a combination of um, I think it's five or six songs, and we just we just took them, we joined them all together, and uploaded it to uh, Streamlabs, which is the software we use to stream. And uh, I use a lot of those songs actually um, for the videos. Most of the videos I make, actually, I just I just put in the stream song into it. All right, that is that. All the crops are watered. I suppose we can we can head away. And what was I going to do today? Oh yes, I know exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to grab all these. We're going to go to the blacksmith. some bars. Oh, thanks, Kelly. Kel. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that, you know, um, that I'm underrated. Uh, you know, hopefully one day the channel will grow much bigger. That, that's that's what I'm hoping for anyway. I'm pretty sure I'll get there one day. Oh, why is Sam outside today? Oh, it's closed. Oh, today's Sunday. Oh, no. The blacksmith is closed today, so we can't do it today. So we'll have to, um, we go there tomorrow, shall we break open the geos, we break open the coppers, and we'll, we're probably going to end up getting a ton of artifacts that we can donate to the museum. Oh, speaking of which, we should go to the museum. How old is the channel? It will be, it will be one year old um, next month. I think that the fifth, the fifth or sixth of November, it'll be it'll be one year old. Yeah, I hit I hit the four K subscriber mark um, this morning, I think, uh, which was nice. And when I get five K, I'll probably do um, a special video, some sort of a special video. <laughs> Geodes don't belong there. Geodes belong in here. And I can sell that. I'll get, a, I'll get some decent money for that one. And... I suppose we just go back into the mines today.
Oh, did I sell all my food? I should be okay. Actually, no, I only have 235 energy. Ooh, what should I do? 4.21 gigs. I mean, it's not bad. I downloaded a game once, um, Final Fantasy VII, a couple of years ago. It was over 100 gigs in size. The game was huge. Q&A for 5k? I wonder would people come on for it though? <laughs> you know, to be on the safe side, I'll probably just do a 100 day video and, and it will just have crazy challenges attached to it. <laughs> you, you, can, you can never go wrong with a 100 day video. You know, they, they, they always work. You know, I'll say it to anyone, any YouTube creator, if you're looking to, if you're new and you're looking to grow your channel, just just do a 100 video. They take ages to do, but it's it, it's worth it every time. It's always, and it doesn't have to be 100 days of sheer perfection. You know, just, just 100 days of you playing the game, see how far you can get. Uh, they, they always do well, 100 day videos. But fortunately, they, they, they just take ages to make because you have to play through a hundred in-game days. Um, so you're looking at the bones of 30 or 40 hours. But if you get up at, get up at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning, sit down and just, just go for it, bang it out. You have done it in a few days. Hundred days of Carl Island, yeah. You know, I, I, I yeah. My, my video is doing pretty well actually. Um, it's still getting views, which is, which is a bit weird because normally my videos kind of surge for one or two days and the algorithm just drops them. <laughs> you know, it's it's hilarious because if you look at the analytics, the bar goes up and up and up, then it just goes straight down. <laughs> you know, you had your time. I gave you a day. That's all you're getting. One hundred days is a vegan. Oh, that's interesting. So what, you can only sell vegetables, is it? Oh cool, a new fish, a box fish. So I have most of the bots set up, Nicole. I have, um... I installed a lot of bots there two days ago, about five or six of them. So I was watching a few videos on it. And I set up the verification bot, I think it's called Wickbot. And I set up me six, I think it's called, which adds like pronouns and stuff and colors and zodiac signs and stuff to the Discord channel. And I set up a few channels like general and announcements and rules and and a, and a voice channel. And I've went into permissions with those. I've set up some of the permissions, um, but there's there's still there's still a lot I want to do with it before I. I released it to the public. So a few more a few more days at least. Now I didn't get to spend any time on it today because I was just super busy with other stuff today. Um maybe tomorrow evening. If I have time tomorrow evening, maybe. Uh, I'll put more work into it. So Basically, I want to set up the Discord myself because I want to have the knowledge to be able to manage it myself. And if it gets, you know, if it becomes really active and there's loads of people on it, um, I might release a community post or I might ask someone if they want to moderate on the channel or something, you know? Boxfish, that is so cool. Never got a boxfish before.
You got a grade in your midterm paper one. Oh my god, 100%. That's amazing, well done. 100. You know, like, like not even a 95 or a 98, you know, like a 100, you know, which is basically a perfect, a triple S. <laughs> you might want mods in different time zones. Yeah, is there a mod for that called Hammer Time or something? It's called Hammer Time or something. 100%. That's amazing. You know, the highest result I ever got on, um, on an exam was at 99%. And I, got, and I got really irritated by it because I even sent the lecture an email. I said, why did you give me... I said, why didn't you give me 100? I said, it's perfect. I said, what are you, what are you taking? Why are you, why are you taking a mark off me? <laughs> and he said, um, he said my code was too long. That there was shorter ways to get the to get the problem resolved, and I told him to give me an example, and he sent me on it. He sent me on a block of code, and it was one it was one line shorter than the code I had. <laughs> I was like, I just you know I just left it. I just I left it off. And my friend Mike said, "Don't send an email. Just you know you got 99. Be happy with that. You know that's that was 20% of the module." Um, but it's, but it's, I mean, it's irritating, you know, if, if someone gives you a 99, you know, why not just round it up to 100, you know, just give you the 100. Yeah, there's my rant. There's my, uh, that is my Thursday evening rant. Thanks everybody for listening. <laughs> but it only happened once. Uh, most of the projects I got, I, I, I generally get maybe a, a 60 or a 70. I got an 80 there on a, a database project, which I literally put two weeks work into. That is so cool, the boxfish. Yeah, but you know, I suppose he had a point because because when you leave college and when you go into industry and you're and you're doing code, you know, they want you to have as little code as possible, and and the more the more effective the code is, the better, you know. Oh, what's this now? This is a top fish. Oh, it was just a mackerel. Fair enough. From your husband. Well, Dara, tell your husband thanks very much. Tell that to my lecture. <laughs> ah, but to be fair, um. Ah, he died. It's alright. This was two years ago, by the way. <laughs> you know, it wasn't. It wasn't recent. Eighty-five percent for the group assignment presentation on the use and history of cognitive behavioral therapy. Now that sounds interesting. And that's a damn good grade too. That's a distinction right there. You know, my favorite thing with the um, with the course I did was was building databases. Uh, I got very good at that. I got very good at building databases and managing databases and setting up stored procedures so the database could do all, you know, you could do all sorts of stuff with the database, you know? SQL, it's called. SQL, programming language. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's a, it's a nice, um, it's a nice language. Very nice. I suppose if someone said to me, you know, I wanted to get into code, what would I start with? I'd say, I'd say, look at SQL. That, that's really nice, especially for beginners. 
and maybe look at some of the web design stuff. You know, like making basic websites is a nice place to start too. Not, not you know, not not crazy advanced websites, just basic websites. Oh god, it's twelve o'clock. Run. <laughs> Your husband likes the uh, likes the code. I, I I used to do a lot of coding. Now I do a lot of YouTubing. YouTube. So I I, I can sell those. Ooh, four macros. And I'll sell two of the box fish. I'll keep one box fish. the museum yeah so level 3 fishing not bad oh nice 1300 gold that's not bad at all what do we make off the farming actually Ooh, potato sells for 60 gold a piece. That's actually not bad for potatoes. What about the fish? 50, 50, 30, 30, 30. Yeah. You don't get a whole lot of money for stuff in this game. You know, it's very hard to make, like, tons of money in this game, you know? Like, the most money I think I ever made in one day was 6,000 gold. And that was an accumulation of storing up stuff for ages. Oh, I can get these. Can I use this? Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Sugar canes. And everything else has grown. Oh, look. Jeff sent me on a sprinkler. Where did I put that now? Is there a... I mean, there'd be nice, but I'd have to sacrifice a crop. And I don't, why not want to sacrifice a crop? Maybe... I'll just put it there. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of crops anyway. It'll literally take me a minute to water these. You know, when I first made my YouTube channel, I was thinking about making a website where, you know, where people would go. But then I said, no, because YouTube kind of does that for me. You know, I have the channel page with all my videos on it. So, yeah. But maybe if I get way bigger in the future, I could make like a website and, you know, I could have memberships and stuff. And, you know, people could become members and they might get access to exclusive content or something. I, I don't know, I'd have to see. I mean, obviously, I don't have members yet because I only have 4,000 subs, <laughs> you know. And um, and I wouldn't know what I'd be able to offer people who paid, you know, maybe early access to content or... I, I, I don't know. But um, I did say that when I when I get 10,000 subs, I will then... I will then incorporate membership into the channel. When I get 10,000 subs. Because I, I think I'd have enough of a base then where I might get a few people that might pay a couple of euro per month. <laughs> and I was actually joking, I was actually joking about it to my wife, you know, because I was saying, I get lots of comments where people say, oh, I love your voice, your voice is, it's really nice and it's soothing, you know, and I was saying, oh, I, you know, mem uh, premium members, you know, could, um, they could talk to me for five minutes. <laughs> you get five minutes, that's it. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> that was a joke, by the way. I'd never, I'd never do that. <laughs> Did I miss a few plants? I think I got them all. Oh, no, no, no. Nope, I missed two. Oh, re. What would I do without you, Ree? 
What would I do without you? I'd have ungrown crops. Back in the Sergio Valley farm, I'd have a green bean that would never grow. Jump with the green, jump with the green bean. <laughs> I kept forgetting about it, and you kept having to remind me about it. Right, I think that's it. I have everything now. So, what are we doing today? We're going. Oh, we are going to the blacksmith today because I got six geodes here, and I also have mysterious copper, ornate coppers. Make it the coppers. I'm gonna break them all open. Oh, where's that box fish guy? Come with me. Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> We're gonna give, we'll give you a nice safe sanctuary in the uh, in the museum. The first computer programming assignment on a card reader. Green Bean is now your spirit animal. <laughs> 43 out of 50. Yeah, I start to count of how many times Re reminds me to water crops. I'd be totally lost without Re. And I know Ree. <laughs> Where's the blacksmith? Wait a second, now I'm here. Okay, I have to go over that way. Over and up. blacksmith so i think it's the first time we've gone here so at the blacksmith we can buy coal bronze ore silver ore and gold ore. but look how much he charges up the gold ore 800 gold for the gold ore you need five ores for the bar and you need five bars for the tool upgrade so you know you as you can see you know if you want to get a tool a gold tool at the moment it's going to cost you a crazy amount of money but for now, we're going to get into, we're going to process some lovely geodes. The Morganite. What? A Lepidolite. I pro I'm probably butchering that word. A Jasper. A Granite. Another Granite. And uh, another uh, Lepi Yolk. Metal Boots. Trash. More trash. Ooh, an ancient map. Nice. Carved Ring Holder. Optima glass prison. And what about the lovely mysterious coffer? A gemstone candlestick. Cool. So we're going to go off to the museum now with these. I'm here all week. Tip your waitress. Try the chicken. <laughs> Give to just loot all these grapes. I'm going to try a new recipe today. Are you, Bree? Here, have some trash. <laughs> that looks a little gross. Yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? What about what about you, husband of of Bree? I've heard of pufferfish. I don't have anything to do with what they're making. Yeah, we don't like pufferfish that much. Now, uh, what can you have now? Oh, yeah, you can have a seed. I don't know what to say. I'm perplexed. <laughs> Ooh, a leaf beetle. Is that new? 
Well, we're heading to the museum anyway, so we'll find out, I suppose. to make that bulge. Look at all these goodies we get to donate to the museum. Oh, very nice indeed. Oh wow, that puts us up to 43 out of 50. And what's really cool is that there's there's, a, there's specific places to hold all these artifacts. So the museum looks nicer and nicer every time we add more stuff to it. But as we can see, there's still a lot of artifacts that we have to get. So I can sell a few things. I sell the granite. I sell that, that. So let's start processing some stuff here. Let's get more scrap. It is ten past four. Okay. What can I do? I mean, there's no point going into the mines because I don't think I'd get down five levels between now and, you know, by the time you have to go to bed. But I might do some sneaky diving to see how we get on. Oh, I have five bronze bars. I don't think I'd make it. You know, I might go for the tool upgrade. Trying to play and read a chat at the same time. <laughs> oh no. Ah. Oh, no. I forgot my pickaxe. My brain would be dangerous. <laughs> I've got to bring the tool to upgrade it. I feel so silly at the moment. <laughs> oh god. What's that? 
cherry. Oh. Well, I suppose, you know, I'm just going to catch some bugs and set them. Ooh, double catch. It's nice getting a double catch. lazy to do groceries sometimes, oh, I, I, I can relate. <laughs> I just eat what we have, if not, I'd like to go to the tavern and keep some in the fridge. Yeah, I'm not a fan of shopping myself now. <laughs> Alan Turing, I, I've never heard of the person. I can't relate. <laughs> I got a wasp, that's new. Yeah, I never heard of it, Nicole. You'd have to explain it to me. You'd have to break it down. Break it down for Gamer Gar. The computer broke the Enigma and ended World War Two. Oh, fair play to him. It's quite, quite the achievement. <laughs> Massive achievement. You know about Alan Turing, yeah. See, but see, the thing is, like, I know a lot about some things, and then I know nothing about other things. Like, um, oh, actually, I have a bit of time left. I have some energy. And I don't have a whole lot of wood. Let's go for an old uh, sneaky tree. <laughs> I know a lot about Stardew Valley. <laughs> I 
it's a good movie. I ha I actually I have a Netflix subscription, but I'm watching something. Uh, I'm watching something very brutal at the moment on Netflix. I've watched I've watched three episodes of it so far. Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh my god, it's a hard it's it's a hard watch. Um, but I've done three episodes and I'll probably do another episode tomorrow night. I'd say. So far, the episodes, they're, um, geez, they're raw. Now, now the actors, you have to give it to them, are absolutely amazing. They, they've won hell of a cast for the show. I mean, your man that plays Jeff Dahmer, I mean, <laughs> he deserves an award for the, you, you know, for how good he can play him. But, um, Jesus, it's a hard watch now, you know? It's a hard, it's a hard old watch. And I've only watched the episodes so far. And I'm not going to get into, I'm not going to get into detail about it on the stream because it's 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 just one of those uh, it's one of those series where there's a lot of brutality in it, an awful lot of brutality. Ooh, the short cans are back. Look at those. Ooh, what's this now? Ice one. Nice, get a nice bit of money for that now. Yeah, the man's crazy, Nicole, isn't he? He's just... God. I need to water and can. So yeah, that's what we're watching at the moment. That's our that's our show now that we're watching this week. You know, last week it was uh, last week it was She Hulk Attorney at Law, and we finished that. So now it's uh, now it's now it's. Uh, Jeff Dahmer <laughs> this week. God only knows what it's going to be next week. There's only been a handful of shows this year that, you know, that's made me very uncomfortable, but in kind of an entertainment way. So the first one was The Squid Game. I think that was released, was that released last year or early this year? That that was, uh, <laughs> that was just a crazy watch. You know, it was crazy. Um, and that's actually getting to season two, and I'll definitely watch season two when it comes out. So it's just a crazy thing altogether. Right, I think I need... Do I need stone for the pickaxe upgrade? I'll bring it just in case. But I definitely, I definitely need the bronze bars. And I think that's it. I'll bring the fibre just in case. I missed a crop. Oh, I did. <laughs> See, I'm doing it on purpose, Ree, to make sure that you're paying attention. <laughs> Haven't had cable in 10 years, only streaming. Yeah, but we, we don't have a digital box. Um, we basically have a smart telly with Netflix, um, Amazon Prime, and Disney Plus, and we, we alternate between the three of them. Uh, the Disney is, is real handy, especially for the kiddies shows. 
Netflix can be very hit and miss. You know, I could go a whole month without watching anything on Netflix and then something could, you know, something could pop up on it and it could be amazing. Like, um, you know, like Stranger Things, for example, that I watched a couple of months ago. That was really good. Uh, the latest season of that. Um, you know, Bridgerton. I watched uh, I watched Bridgerton. And I was I was really happy with the second season of that. That was amazing. It was amazing. And what did I watch last week on it? What did I watch last week? Cyberpunk. I watched a cyberpunk um, thing. It was like an anime. And, you know, I was a bit skeptical going in. I was like, meh, it doesn't look great. But after the first few episodes, I, w I was I was hooked on it. And it was an app. Jeez, it was an amazing watch. Oh yeah, I saw that last night. The School of Good and Evil. It, I think it popped up on my featured list. Um, so I might give that a go, Nicole. When I finish with the, uh, the Jeff Dahmer thing. Yeah, this, Disney is so handy for the kids because you can, like, there's a whole host of things you can put on it. Like, you know, there's Frozen, there's Moana, there's Encanto, you know, there's, there's just a lot of stuff you can just put on and they'll watch it. Thank you, Pablo. So, I'm just going to upgrade the old pickaxe there. And what's really good about this game is that even though they're upgrading tools, he can still he can still do other stuff for you. You know, he's much better than Clint. He can process geodes. You can even use the shop. Way more efficient than Clint. Clint should learn a few things from Pablo. <laughs> Frozen 2 come Frozen 2 is watched every single day in this house, unfortunately. Unfortunately. And Frozen 1. The snow never bothered me anyway, but it bothers me. It, 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 it didn't bother me at the start, now it bothers me. <laughs> Night time before Christmas. Actually, I think it was two weeks ago, Hocus Pocus 2 came out, and we watched that, and um, I really liked it. I thought it was amazing. And, like, especially the actresses, you know, I mean, they're all pushing on now in years, and, and, and I, th I thought they nailed it so well. And some people said they weren't happy with it. I thought it was amazing. I mean, you have to give credit where it's due, you know? You haven't heard great, great things about the second Hocus Pocus. Ah, oh, it's really good. You should, you should really give it a watch. If if you've watched the first one, the, the you know the the second one is the second one is good. In all fairness, it's uh it's it's good. Oh, but I can harvest that one. I didn't need to water it. See, that's why I didn't water it, Rick. Because I was going to harvest it later. Now, there you go. So I give him my pickaxe. Yeah, all three are amazing. And I mean, is one of them in her late 70s or her 80s and she was able to move around and, you know, sing a few songs and it just really got into it, you know? It's impressive. Well, I, I think it's impressive. <laughs> Oh, wait a second now. Do I have to activate something here? Those two are activated. I 
I'm gonna get all this for um, Scooby Snacks. Scooby, Scooby Snacks. <laughs> 70. Bet Midler's in her 70s. Seven, I mean, 76 years of age, and she was able to go on and, and, and do all that. I mean, that's impressive. That's impressive. Can't I get you? Oh, there we go. Your best friend didn't like Encanto. Oh, Encanto's amazing. Encanto's very good. It's like a breath of fresh air because sometimes you'd be sick to death of watching uh, Moana and Frozen. And like they are good shows, but you know when you watch them a hundred times, you know, you know when something new comes out, you appreciate it. Now I did watch the new Pinocchio when it came out, and I wasn't a huge fan of that. I watched it once, and I'll probably never watch it again. Oh, here we go. There's a there's a, a pylon thing that hasn't been activated yet. Actually, I haven't been to the cinema in months, but there's a few shows coming out that I want to go to the cinema and see. So I think we have Black Adam coming out this week, and I really want to go see that. And I think there's... Um, there's a new Marvel movie, what's it called? Wakanda Forever, I think it's called. That's coming out. Um, and I'll, I'll probably go see that one as well. Oh, nice, we found it. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of it now, Reed, the Pinocchio. So that is another area cleansed. Can I go down this way, I wonder? Oh, I didn't realize there was one down here that, that, that um, activated. That's another one. I don't suppose I can just walk past you, can I? No, you ain't. You ain't letting me pass. <laughs> Seems to be more stuff down here, though.
haven't been to the theater in over a decade or two. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it has gotten very expensive, to be fair. You know, like, if I went to the cinema... If I went to the cinema tonight now or tomorrow and I wanted to see a movie, it would probably cost me the bones of 25 euro, and that would be the ticket, that would be a popcorn, and that would be a drink. That That's what I'd probably be paying. Yeah, but we're going to go see the Black Adam movie together, aren't we? Wayne Johnson. The Rock. You know, sometimes when I feel a bit burnt out and I need some motivation, I'll turn on one of his, uh, I'll turn on one of his motivational videos, you know? Where he basically tells you to, to you know, to get the lead out and get on with it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to stop the old dive in here now and have to leave. We'll get some sea salt. And I will drop the anchor here. Yeah, it was really sad about Chadwick uh, Boseman. Really sad. And, and I thought when he passed away that they wouldn't do any more kind of Wakanda stuff. You know, um, what they are. Well, I hope they don't do a new Black Panther. You know, because he was the original Black Panther. It, it, I, no, I, I kind of, I feel the same way with Iron Man. With Robert Downey Jr. I really don't want them to implement a new Iron Man. You know, just, just, just make new heroes. You know? That's just my opinion, though. <laughs> I'm going to take that up there now for a second. So, I got some camp trash. Scrap. Look at all this stuff. A black sea urchin. I might just sell that. I might just sell a few of those things. Alright. Oh, look at that. Level 3 farming. So I can now make the mason jar, which is really nice, so we can process crops further. So we can make, like, you know, pickled crops, and we can make jams and jellies and and things like that. Uh, what else do we get? Makeshift arch, makeshift floor tile, hydro one. Oh, that's like, uh, you know, it irrigates the crops sometimes for you. Oh, wow, look at that. 1,765 gold. How did I make so much gold? Because I sold the carrots. And I saw some of the sugar canes. And I saw some forage and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I just sold a lot of stuff. Oh my god, look at that! A tiger beetle is worth 220 gold. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. What do we have here now? Oh, Grandma sent me 500 gold. Oh, thanks so much. Ooh, the sugar cane's good to go again. 
Oh, <laughs> that's just so satisfying, you know. All right, I'll water the rest. Remakes, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, any, like, it, in my experience, any sort of a remake that you go see, it, it's never as great as the original. They, sh they should just leave them be, you know? Like, I said at my last stream, I really hope they never remake any of the Harry Potter movies. I really hope they just, they, they just leave it alone, period. Um... Yeah, especially the Harry Potter movies. You're a wizard, Harry. Oh, and sure didn't Hagrid pass away a few days ago? The, um... Oh, yeah, the, the actor that played Hagrid passed away. Which was really sad. What a glass. Glass. How do I make glass? I think I need scrap. Make scrap. Oh, make glass again. I think I need this. I think this makes glass. Yeah, scrap it to glass. 20 bronze ore, 25 stone. That's what I need. I don't have 20 bronze ore. I don't got it. Ah, look, it's all right. Sell those for now. I'm gonna to run to the blacksmith. I'm gonna get my pickaxe. And we are gonna get some bronze ore. That's what I'm gonna do. Ah, oh, the stream's coming to an end. Might stream for another hour. Oh, I don't know. What should I do? I'm really enjoying playing the game. What do you guys want? Do you want me to stream for another hour? Or do you want me to end it after today? Let me know there in the comments. Murder, she wrote. Watched a few episodes. Receive my upgraded tool. That is the bronze pickaxe. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, till it'll be the last day. I'll keep it at three hours. Otherwise, it'll be four hours and people might not watch it because it's, you know, it's half a day. It's four hours. <laughs> not everybody has, uh, not everybody has, has, you know, the time to sit down and watch a full stream. Essences. Just get some upgrades. Where's the closest point to the lab? Let's go here. Hmm. 
Oh, there we go. Striped Garden Caterpillar. I think that's a new one. <laughs> it's so nice when a big giant chest pops up out of the ground. Oh, there is uh, Zara with her metal detector. Hello, Zara. That's so cool, the NPC is playing volleyball. Can I play? Oh, where are you, where are you going? I'll punch a play. Yay. <laughs> oh, Betty's watching. Hey, Betty. Have a starfish. Have a starfish, Betty. We can certainly make use of this tank of it. No, no problem, Betty. You're welcome. What's that? Oh, it's a praying mantis. Look, it's a crab rib. <laughs> hey, rib with the crabs. Still working, gotta get your 50 hours, ooh, 50 hours a week. Ooh, that's a long week. Oh, cool. It's a nice little bike there. What's that? A lady beetle. Where's the lab? Oh, there's the lab. So I'm hoping I have enough with four essences. Oh, we get a cutscene here too. Some upgrades done. And finally find someone worthy. More importantly, I do owe you an explanation. Please follow me into my secret lair and I'll explain things to you. Ooh, a secret lair. Five essences. Ah, oh, no, I think some things are four essences. I hope. <laughs> We know all about the, the technology, it's mermaid technology that removes all the oil and stuff from the, from the corals. Human science, a little bit of magic in the ancient technology the ocean can recover. <laughs> a little bit of magic. Like the magic in the mines that, that, uh, that generates the bronze ore, you know? That's all magic. <laughs> so, she, uh, so I think she'll give us access now to that terminal that we can use. Let's see, five, six, seven, and eight. Fabulous. <laughs> so five. Five is the minimum for seed level one upgrade. So I need one more brand's kelp essence and I'll probably grab that. Uh, what's that plant? Higher quality fruit. Increase the chance to bear higher quality fruit. Oh, that's a fruit tree. And this is the animal products. Because you upgrade the hay and the animals to give you better products. Okay, that's fine.
So a sharp one essence. But I think I have a few things here for the museum that I can hand in. Oh yeah, the museum's up here. We're hoping to start streaming soon as well. Oh, cool. What would you stream? Would you stream Carl Island, Stardew Valley, or something else? Lady Beetle. Stripped Garden Caterpillar. Nice one. 46 out of 50. So we're definitely getting there with that. And in spring, which is really good. If we don't get it in spring, we'll definitely get it in summer, because there'll be a whole new assortment of... Of things to do, you know, fish, fish to catch and fishers to catch. And there's forest was all over the place, and critters. I gotta love catching the critters. Sell all this for loads of money. Hello, Gregory. How are you? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> and we're we're finishing up shortly, unfortunately, because we've been streaming out for for three hours. So, it's time to end the stream when today ends, this, this end game day, unfortunately. <laughs> I like that there's a lot of trash on your farm, you know, because it's... Trash is something that's needed all the time. It's needed for so many things. Actually, there should be a big bronze node somewhere around here. I might be able to uh, break it open now with this axe that I have. Pickaxe. Where art thou, giant bronze node? I don't know if it regenerates. It, it could be a one up. What's that? What's that thing? Never seen that before. Sort out my inventory, and then I want to find that giant um, Orvin. Right, so what are we selling? We're selling these. This giant, uh, this giant ore vein.
Maybe it takes a while for it to spawn in. I don't see it. It's just a regular one. It's a big rock, but it's just a regular rock. Ooh, glass. Nice. That's very nice. Give me more glass, please. Starting to feel tired. Oh, <laughs> it's the walk of shame again. <laughs> walk of shame back to the house. That's what we get now for using up too much energy again. Oh, he's had a rough day. But the farming, the farming life is tough. So how much glass do I have? I need two more pieces of glass and I can make the mason jar. I'm just going to sell that wild seed to see how much money I get for it. <laughs> Probably not. The slug of shame. <laughs> oh, wow. 2,230 gold I made today. I, what did I get? Ooh, look. Paddy flowers. 135 gold a pop. That's really nice. Um, So primarily from selling the, the nine paddy flowers. Uh, I want to make some foraging. Oh yeah, it's alright. And then from catching the... I mean, look at that. Spice bush, swallowtail, butterfly. 165 gold. Which is pretty good. So. Um, yeah, we leave the stream there now because we've got over three hours. So thanks everyone for popping into the stream, I really appreciate it. And I re I will release a new schedule next week. Um, you know, with days on you know, days I'll be streaming and days I'll be releasing regular videos. And the videos will be Stardew Valley and Court Ireland videos. On Sunday we have a Stardew Valley video. And yeah, you know, I think that's about it. Uh, so next week we'll, we will be incorporating morning streams and evening streams but you'll never get two streams in the one day um so i might do maybe maybe a monday morning or something and a wednesday i'll see i'll, I'll do out a little rota and i'll make a community post about it and i'll also put it in the about section of the channel so you'll know when the streams are actually going to happen so thanks again everyone and i hope you have a great week enjoy your weekend and I will probably see you um, on Monday for a stream, if I decide to stream on Monday. Bye for now.